Hey guys, Mr. Barnes here again, and uh, I'm going to be taking you through another video on determining linear equations. This time, instead of from a table of values or from a pattern, we're going to look at a graph. Okay. Um, now, there's a billion different ways to be able to determine uh, an equation from a graph. Uh, there's one very specific way, in fact, the way that I would probably do it if I had to go back, that I'm not going to show you guys, and that's uh, y equals mx plus b, which a lot of you guys probably would be looking for if you just found my video randomly. Uh, and the reason why I'm not going to show you that is because my students uh, aren't supposed to learn that in grade 9. They're supposed to uh, learn a different way, which works perfect as well. Um, and it leads up to that eventually, but uh, not at this point. So I think maybe uh, what I'll do is make a video on slope-intercept form or y equals mx plus b, which some of you guys might be looking for. Um, but I'll sh in the meantime, I'll show you how my students learn it. All right, so um, I have a graph here. Let me choose red here. Okay, I've got a graph. Let me uh, zoom down here a bit. And uh, we're always interested in what's happening with x. What happens uh, with x and y? Okay, as x increases by 1, what's happening with y? That's what I always tell my students. As x increases by 1, what happens with y? So we notice here as x increases by 1, so we just went up 1, and that could have been anywhere. It could have been right here. Okay, I usually try to pick a spot where it crosses through exactly a point. It could have been right here. As x increases by 1, what's happening with y? y increases by 2. And it does that same thing in all these spot across the lines. It increases by 2. Now, the reason I'm not picking a spot like this is because I can't determine exactly what 1 is. Okay, but if it's, it's going through like a little cross part, then yeah, I can do it exactly. Okay, and questions on tests usually we set up in ways that you can't do that. Okay, so as, uh, as x increases by 1, so as x, it's a terrible x, don't you agree? As x See where I'm to. X increases by one. Y increases by two. So that is their relationship. Okay. So how do I represent that as an equation? Well, y is equal to two x. Now this is not my final equation because I'm not sure if that'll work, but that is the relationship described here. Now, it's a little bit more complicated than that. Let's just pick a point. Okay, so uh, if you're familiar with y equals mx plus b, then you're saying, I know what point to pick. It's so easy. Um, I like to pick a point, obviously, through... Um, let me get rid of, rid of some of these lines here. I like to pick a point here, a point here, a point right here. Let's choose... Um, this point right here, okay? The reason being is because x is 0, okay, which makes it easy. So this point here is 0, 3, okay? If you can ever, ever choose a point where x is 0, it makes your life a lot easier. So if I put x equals 0 in here, 2 times 0 is 0, but I should get y is equal to 3. So I know that I had to add a 3 on here, okay? And you can see here again, this point here is 1, 5. Okay, x is 1, y is 5. Okay, x always goes first is x, y. So if x is 1, 2 times 1 is 2, plus 3 gives me 5. So again, this must be my equation. Okay, now, uh, again guys, if you're looking for slope intercept, check out one of my videos that I'll be making in the future. Alright, let's try this graph here. All right, so again, we're going to be looking for spots where x sort of crosses the exact um, exact cross here. So I think this one here is a pretty good spot to choose, and this one will be decent as well here. Um, I'll choose this spot. All righty, and there's a spot here. So with this one, it's kind of tricky. We got to go as x increases by 1, so it went from 0 to 1. What happened with y? Well, y went down 
3. So x went up 1, y went down 3. Okay? So decreased by 3. Well, what's decrease mean? So what sign do we usually use for them? Use a negative. So the way we can start our equation is y is equal to negative 3x. Okay? Make that x a little better. So y is equal to negative 3x. Well, that's not our answer just yet. So let's pick a point here. Let's pick uh, this point right here, which is 0, negative 2. Well, if x is 0 right here, so it's 0, okay. Well, we're supposed to get negative 2. That's a negative 3, sorry to get negative 2. Okay, so we can subtract 2 here. And if we do that now, we're going to get a negative 2. What about this point? This point is 1, negative 5. So we got uh, negative 3 times 1 is negative 3. Negative 3 subtract 2 is negative 5. So again, this must be our equation. Okay? Let's try one more problem. So, let me see. So we pick a point down here, another point here, and another point up here. So let's see. As x increases by 1, y increases by 6. Okay? As x increases by, actually it should be. No, that's right. I think. Let's see. Let's have a look at this graph. Here we go. Let me adjust it a little bit here. Maybe it should be backed up a little bit. There we go. That's better. So as x increases by 1, y increases by 6. And the same thing again. Okay? Increases by 6. So we got x goes up by 1, y goes up by 6, so we start off with y is equal to 6x, okay? We pick a point, pick this point right here if you want, this point or this point up here. This point here is 0, negative 6, so if x is 0, we end up with 0 here, we're supposed to get negative 6, so we subtract 6, okay? That's because this point down here is 0, negative 6. So you can see, we had y is equal to 6x, so 0 times 6 is 0. We should get minus 6, so we got to subtract 6 from that. So guys, I, I hope this helps. Um, one place that this is useful is if... Um, oops. One place this is useful is if you're trying to match equations with graphs, common multiple choice questions where you have a graph and you have three equations, you can pick a point. Or if you have one equation and four graphs, Another way you can do, uh, look at that as well, okay? Um, so I hope this helps. If you got any questions, message me on YouTube, ask me in class, uh, or check, me, check out more videos on my website. All right, thanks a lot, guys. See ya.